While President Obama condemned, quote, the senseless murders of five Dallas police officers, he also wasted no time in renewing his push for more gun control. We also know that when people are armed with powerful weapons, unfortunately it makes attacks like these more deadly and more tragic. And in the days ahead, we're going to have to consider those realities as well. Congress, though, has already signaled it has no interest in restricting the rights that lawful Americans depend on to protect themselves. But billionaires like Michael Bloomberg are going around Congress and attacking the Second Amendment state by state. This year, Nevada is one of the states he set his sights on, with question number one on the ballot, better known as Bloomberg's Background Check Initiative. But Art and Cindy Clark, whose 20-year-old son was brutally murdered in 1998, shot execution style by suspects with records a mile long, want people to know that Bloomberg's initiative would not have prevented what happened to their son, and it won't stop criminals in the future from carrying out more heinous crimes. Take a look. My son Branson was a victim. Now Branson's family and friends are victims. We are survivors of a murder. We're the reality check. Michael Bloomberg does not have permission to hijack my tragedy. This law would not have prevented what happened to my son. If that criminal wants a gun, he's gonna go get a gun, period. What Bloomberg's doing is gonna make criminals out of law-abiding citizens. Branson was the UNR cheerleader that was murdered. That was many of the captions in the newspapers. He was just going to work to make extra money delivering pizza. My son walked into a house to deliver pizza that they were staking out. And when he came out of the house with his pizza bag, they followed him to his car and killed him. The two murderers walked up and shot him five times, execution style, five times in the neck, right here. They're criminals, they're thugs. They're not going to go through a background check. Murder's been against the law since the beginning of time. No law has stopped murder. How senseless it was. Kill somebody to get in a gang. This is the old American kid who lit up a room when he walked in. He probably would have been the mayor of Reno. He was so popular. It was a tragedy, just not for Art and Cindy, for the whole community. I went into a deep, dark hole. And I'm not going to sit here and say that I don't grieve still every day for the death of my son. Nothing is the same. My son's not going to get married. I'm not going to be a grandmother, ever. This is what I have from my son's life, right there, a big blank for the future. Thank God I have memories, and a lot of good memories. But if I can't stand up and fight for gun rights, fight for my Second Amendment, then who can? Our resources are focused on background checks, and they're focused this year in Nevada and Maine. We know they work. They don't hear my story. My voice is saying that we don't need more gun laws. The gun that was used to kill Branson was obtained through a methamphetamine deal. My son was killed with an illegal gun. There was no background check. And by Bloomberg coming in and putting in more gun laws, that's not going to keep the guns off the street. I'd like to know how he figures that. It's not going to make communities safer at all. People with money can't just be flaunting their money. To convince some of these people that this is the right thing, it's not the right thing. I can tell you that Art and Cindy is living proof that that's not going to work. If you're at a gun range and you want to trade guns, you commit a misdemeanor, and the second time, it's a felony. Come on. Under this law, we need to go and find a gun dealer and do a background check on you so you can use my gun. And then when you're through, we need to go back and pay another fee and find that gun dealer again and transfer those guns back into my name. This is a working ranch, and so we have ranch rifles. And if this passes, an employee will not have the ability to have a ranch gun in their vehicle without first going down and talking to a firearms dealer to do a transfer to them. Then at the end of the day, they'd have to transfer the gun back. It gains nothing. That's not going to protect anybody. It makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. They tried it once before in our legislature. Our governor vetoed this. And rightfully so, but didn't solve anything. Well, then you look at the Bloomberg Initiative, and you're still in the same boat. It'd be an unenforceable law. It absolutely disgusts me. As long as I'm sheriff, I won't enforce that. I don't have enough deputies to enforce stuff like that. The cops in every state and every town, they're doing their jobs. They're getting the criminals. 
the judicial system needs to change. They're releasing a lot of people that should not be out on the streets, and they reoffend. This is not going to stop anything. They're not going to be worried about Bloomberg's proposal on going and getting a gun. We pay the price in life. The guy that killed my son, the 17-year-old had 64 priors, 64 priors, two home invasions with a deadly weapon, one at age nine and one at age 11. The other, the 21-year-old, he had two felony convictions and they both had guns. That's the system's justice. It's not about expanding background checks. They've got their goals set. The goals are is to disarm the United States citizens. And I think they're trying their doggone us to do it. Leave the guns alone. It's a confiscation of rights. And if you're disarmed, you're not a citizen, you're a subject, and you're subject to being a victim. I'm not going to sit back and be a victim. The only way we win is by voting, is by voicing our opinions. We have to vote, and we have to vote no on question one. I think Bloomberg's to take his money and himself and go home. We do not need this in the state of Nevada. I don't think we need this in any state, period. I don't think that you should be rewriting the Second Amendment of our Constitution. Do you not understand what the word infringed means? Second Amendment will not be infringed. Once you start whittling away at our constitutional rights, state by state, you're in dangerous territory. My wife and I belong to a very exclusive fraternity, parents of murdered children. I hope that people listen. This can happen to anybody. It is the criminals, and we have to address the criminal element in this country, not a gun issue, not the Second Amendment. I'm going to stand up and fight this fight as long as I possibly can.